Well, hello friends. Welcome back to Belle's Library. I'm Heather and we are going to do the reading habits tag today. So I recently, well, I've seen this tag a few times to be quite honest, but I recently saw Meg with Books do it and I was like, you know what? I think I feel like doing that one right now. And so here we are. We're going to do the reading habits tag and we're going to talk about some of my reading habits. Before we get super into it, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can join in with all the fun. And we're going to go ahead and jump into the questions. I haven't looked at them, so hopefully I have good answers for you guys. But the first one is going to be, do I have a certain place at home that I read? Yes and no. Um, I honestly, thinking about this question, I read in quite a chunk of different places. Not gonna lie. Um, but I think I have some main places where I read mostly, and that would be on my couch or the recliner, which are in the living room, or in my bed. Those would be probably the main areas. And probably more the couch than the recliner for whatever reason. I've been reading on the couch quite a bit lately. Um, and then, yeah, my bed. But I also really like to go outside because it's been gorgeous out. It's been in the like 70s lately and sunny and beautiful here. Oh my gosh, it has been like the most perfect weather for like two or three weeks. I'm probably like jinxing myself right now. Let's knock on wood. I'm, all of a sudden it's going to get all cloudy and cold soon. Anyways, it's just been beautiful. So I've definitely been enjoying getting outside to read. If I'm listening to an audiobook, I'm pretty much all over my house or sometimes I go for a walk or jog or something and I'm listening. Um, in my car I'm listening. So that's kind of a totally different thing. But if I'm sitting down and reading, <laughs> those are some of the usual places that I'm sitting. Um, sometimes though, like, I don't know, I will just, if I'm waiting for something, I'll pull a phone, my phone out and read. Um, when I go to pick up my daughter, if I'm waiting a few minutes, I just constantly picking up somewhere to read. But if I'm just sitting down for a long extended period of time, I would say outside, couch, and my bed. Those are the main, the main areas. Okay, so question number two. Bookmark or random piece of paper? At the moment, bookmark. I have been pretty good. This month I've been using bookmarks pretty consistently. I have a mug here with a bunch of random stuff and it also has bookmarks in it and then I have a mug in my bedroom with bookmarks and then I'm sure there's bookmarks just randomly sitting around my house. I think that the main reason actually that I'm using bookmark more bookmarks more I just realized is because <laughs> Because of book of the month, I've been getting all of these, and I've just been like, oh, hey, I have a bunch of these. Let me just throw them in my, in my uh, books. I can actually use bookmarks, because before I think I had like two or three, and I would just always not be near them or whatever. So yeah, that's, that's probably a thing. Um, so yeah, I've been using bookmarks a lot. If you watched like my January vlog where I was trying to read as many books as I could that month, I definitely pulled some weird random stuff out of that. It wasn't even like a piece of paper. It was like a plastic wrapper that had been holding like a sticker sheet or something and I had like stuck it in my book. So I definitely, sometimes I do that. If I don't have a bookmark around, then whatever paper or whatever's next to me that will fit in my book, definitely, definitely will do. So number three, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter slash a certain amount of pages? I can stop in the middle of a chapter. I prefer to finish a chapter, but like if I'm just have a few minutes and I'm pulling out my book, like I'm most likely not going to be able to be like, oh wait, I just have to finish this chapter if I need to get to something, you know, but I can just finish a couple pages. I can finish a couple pages. I'm fine with that, but I can't just like stop in the middle of like a sentence and I try to get to like some kind of page break or like the top of the page at least or the bottom, you know, so I'm not like in middle of the page. Um, so yeah, I try to kind of find a good place to stop. Um, as far as like, do I need to get to like a certain amount of pages? Sometimes. Mainly if I'm just like, I really need to like <laughs> pick up my reading because I haven't been reading for a few days and I want to, you know, read a little bit more, get ahead with my TBR game or something. I'm trying to like make a video and I'm like, I haven't read anything. Then I will set myself like a goal. Like, okay, you're going to sit down. You need to read a hundred pages. Like, let's do this. Um, but 
not usually. Like, I don't always, like, I have to sit down and read this many pages, or I have to get to a chapter end. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, and that's okay. Number four is, do you eat or drink while reading? And the answer is yes. Um, I don't always eat when I'm reading, but sometimes, like, when I go to sit outside, I often will do that at, like, lunchtime, and I'll bring my lunch out there, and I'll eat, and I'll read a little bit, and that's, like, my lunch break at home from school and everything. Um, so I do. I do sometimes eat, but that's, like, not as often. Uh, I definitely drink something often when I'm reading. I pretty much always have coffee with me or water, um, like, all the time, everywhere I go. I Coffee, I only drink, I'm, I'm cutting down. So I drink a cup in the morning and then I drink a cup in the afternoon, which is what I'm doing right now. And that's what I've been drinking and that's it. But water, I always have water with me. No matter where I'm at, I always need my water. So yeah, I definitely have something near me that I'm drinking. Number five, multitasking, music or TV while reading. <sighs> I can't do like TV very well at the same time. It will distract me and I'll be like, am I watching this? No, I'm trying to read and then I'm not getting anywhere with my book. Um, I can have it on in the background like if my husband's watching something and it's something that's not entertaining to me, then I can definitely like just be like in my book and I'm totally fine. Uh, but if it's something that's entertaining to me, I can't have both happening. And then as far as like music goes, I don't tend to put music on. Like if I were just sitting down to read and it was like my ideal environment, um, I probably wouldn't have anything on or I would have like one of those YouTube ambiance going on. Like I have this one behind me. So if I was reading like something kind of summery and beachy, I could put this on and then it, they usually have some kind of like music to them or they have like waves crashing or rain or whatever. So a lot of times like I'll put like a fun cafe on or a library and then it, it just kind of sets my mood and it will have a little bit of noise, but um, I don't do that every time I read. So I don't know, I'm kind of a mix on all of that. Um, I think within this though like it says multitasking and it's talking about tv and music but like for me if i'm multitasking while i'm reading it's usually like i've got my audiobook in and i'm cleaning my house or i'm gardening or um i'm driving like i do a lot of those types of things while i'm listening to my audiobook or i'll be like putting my makeup on or getting ready that kind of stuff i'll i'll multitask like that but I don't know, that's not necessarily fully the question here. Okay, so number six says, one book at a time or several at once. I usually have like two books going at once. I usually have a physical book I'm reading and then an audio book that I'm reading. And that's pretty consistent. I usually have one of each happening. Occasionally I'll be physically reading a book and then also listening to the audio of that book, but not at the same time. I can't do that where I'm reading the book and then listening to it. I just, it, that, I can't do that. It ends up like I can't get on the right pace for whatever reason. But I'll like physically read it for a few chapters and then if I need to do something, I'll throw in my audiobook and like do that. Sometimes, sometimes that'll happen. And then I'm only reading one. But I would say like 99% of the time I have one physical read going and one audiobook read going. Number seven, I feel like I kind of answered already. It says reading at home or everywhere. Um, I would say a majority of my reading is done at home because I'm home a majority of the time. Right now, school is online. I'm not going anywhere for school. Um, I'm not working at the moment. I take care of my daughter at home. Like everything I do is pretty much at home. Like I'm almost always at home. But if I am going out into the world, I often am reading as well. If I'm getting in the car to go pick up my daughter or go to the store or that kind of thing, I usually have an audiobook on. The other day I went grocery shopping by myself was nice but I listened to my audiobook through the grocery store um, if I'm going to pick up my daughter like I said I will sit in the car for a few minutes while I'm waiting and I'll read my book or if I'm going to an appointment or something and I'm waiting I can read a book so I do read elsewhere but a majority of my readings definitely at home because I'm just at home all the time number eight is reading out loud or silently in your head uh, I definitely read silently in my head I am kind of curious, like, are there a lot of people that read out loud? I think it, it would help me, like, um, when I'm taking a test for school, 
since it's at home and there's nobody around, I read the questions out loud to myself so I make sure I understand them better. And I think that's very helpful. But I also think that if I just sat and read a book out loud to myself and was reading out loud, that um, my mouth would be so extremely dry and my throat would probably get really sore because I'd just be talking so much that I, I think that would take away from some of the enjoyment. So I don't know, but yeah, silently in my head. So number nine, do you read ahead or skip pages? Not really, uh, I would say like, Pretty, pretty much no. There is occasion, like when I'm in like a dialogue spot or something I'm really excited about, sometimes you know like you skip over like a sentence or two just because you're like, you're reading the dialogue and then there's like something in between and then the finished dialogue. I'll like finish reading the dialogue and go back and meet, read the middle and, and kind of do a little bit of that, if that made any sense. I feel like it will if you're a reader. I'm sure like to some extent you probably do that. Um, but otherwise, not really. I don't really skip ahead on things. Um, when I was younger, I used to really like to go to the end of the book and I'd like read the last sentence. Just, I don't know, I wanted to read the last sentence in the book because I just was like, I just want to know what happens now. But in my old age here, I've definitely gotten a little more patient and I, I will wait for it. But, um, Definitely probably something that pushes me to read more is the fact that I just want to know what's going on and what's happening. Uh, kind of a totally fun side tangent. When I was younger, I used to be so impatient about wanting to know what my Christmas gifts were that I would, one, go and find them for sure. I always was looking when my parents weren't home or something. I'd be like, oh, where can I find them? But um, I legit would like unwrap presents and then wrap them back up. Like I just do it super careful and then peek in at my presents and then put them back together. Yeah, so that was my impatience as a child. I'm a little bit better about it now. Occasionally, occasionally I get a little impatient with that kind of stuff. It's just, I want to know. I want to know what's going on. Number 10, uh, breaking the spine or keeping it like new. I really like to try to keep my books like new, but if it's like a book I've had for a long time and I've read it a bunch, it's probably got a broken spine. But I don't have a ton of books with a broken spine. And I like my, my books to look nice. I know some people don't really care. They feel like it's like loved on. And I, I get that, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I like I like my my books to be pretty because I just think they're so pretty and decorative and wonderful. And I feel like the last question here kind of leads into some of that too. Number eleven is, do you write in your books? And I really don't. Um, I don't have anything against it. Like, if you like to write in your books, then you write in your books. And maybe one day I will write in my books. I definitely have like different thoughts and opinions on this. I have written in a book before, like when I was in school, I remember, I think it was like the Scarlet Letter or something. I wrote in it throughout because I just like, I needed to take some notes and I just, I was kind of notes and highlighting, but it was more of like I was studying it. And so then I, but if I'm just enjoying a book, I find that I really have a hard time like stopping and making notes. Like I thought that, you know, having like a reading journal where I could like think every few chapters I could like write a little blurb just to remember how I just don't I just want to read it I just want to consume it and just go through it and I don't tab very well I've tried that before um and I enjoy it to a point but then I hate stopping to actually make the tabs or write things down like I just just want to be engrossed in the book and just I don't know maybe that'll change maybe it won't we'll see <laughs> But those are my reading habits for right now. Um, I would love to hear what your guys' reading habits are and what you guys would respond to some of these questions or if <laughs> my reading habits are just really out there or different than yours. Let me know, talk to me down below. And if you made it this far, then I would absolutely love for you guys to throw, <laughs> let's do a present down below since I, I shared some fun stories about that when I was a kid. Uh, anyways, if you guys haven't already, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!